what's the feedback been like in terms of how they like how teams would like to use you at the next level? Um, between three, four, four threes, outside backer Sam will um, play a little. You know, play a little nickel, uh, rush the passer. It's just like a very versatile role in every system, really. We were talking, in Indy, that you thought you'd be doing quite well when you saw exactly how well you stacked up among linebackers. Just what was the feeling to see like you were second, third, fourth in like virtually every drill? So just what was your takeaway from it? Um, my takeaway was just, you know, um, thank God that I was able to make it to this position in my career. Um, I want to give a big shout out to, you know, to the NFL, the combine and stuff for inviting me out there. I just, I felt good about it. Um, I mean, it wasn't that much of a surprise to me. I've always felt confident in my abilities and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm just very thankful, feel very blessed. How do you think your maturity helps you just being a fifth, fifth year guy and mm -hmm. seeing so many other guys go through this process during your career here? Um, I mean, coming in as a young and I was, you know, I was kind of probably a little wild. Um, but as time went on, you know, you mature, you grow up, um, things of those nature. And I feel like it's very important as a young man and uh, as a football player to have, the, have that time, you know what I'm saying? Um, everybody's time clock is a little different. And, uh, yeah. What do you think the nerves will be like if the draft weekend comes around? Can you be in Texas for that? Uh, I would definitely be in Texas for that. Um, I mean, I, I'd be a little nervous, but, you know, just getting, getting picked up, getting drafted to be any, getting drafted anywhere, any round, it doesn't matter to me. Just being drafted is a blessing to me. Is it cool to kind of go through the same experience with the other guys you've been on the defense line with you go in jail? Oh, most definitely. You know, uh, having some boys to go through the process with, uh, you know, contact, keep contact with, uh, talk to about it all and stuff like that. It's, it's really cool and it's a blessing to see like different perspectives, different positions and stuff like that. What so. kind of advice does Coach Cristobal give you? Uh, just enjoy the process, you know, trust it and, you know, stay on my grind. That's my What do these next couple of months look like for you leading up to the draft? Uh, just work, working out on my own, working out for teams, um, you know, getting my name out there some more, uh, meeting with some more people and that's, that's about it. Is there anything specific or a number of things that you're really trying to show out here? I mean, versatility is obviously one of the... Uh, you know, just really just versatility, um, you know, being good and fluent in any drill I can, I can possibly be in um, and show teams that I'm a, I'm a guy they need. How much did the East West Shrine game change everything? You had a big, big performance here. Uh, I feel like it changed. I, I feel like it uh, boosted my draft, st draft stock. It showed teams. Um, it showed teams a lot of what I can do. It answered some questions for some teams, in my opinion. Yes. What's, the, what's the hardest part about the, all this, and what's the easiest part about all this? Uh, the hardest part? Shoot, I don't, I don't even think there's a hardest part. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's all it's just working out. You know, it's, it's, I, I'd have to say the hardest part is just, you know, the nerves of it all. Um, you know, a lot of stuff rides on certain things, like the combine, things like that. You get like one shot at, at it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if you if you know what you're doing and you, you know you're well prepared, it's, it's not really that hard. But the easiest part is really just working out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just working out and doing, staying on the football ground. That's it. I mean, I've been doing that all my life, so.